episode of the Heavyweight Tournament using Legends of Boxing PC game. Uh, we're still in the preliminary rounds. Still quite a few fights to go. Um, but uh, we'll just see how many we can fit in uh, in the time I have. So let's head to the ring and get ready to get this going. All right, so first up, Wayne Bethea, uh, seated at 102 versus Gordon Reset, seated at 144. Um, Bethea, 28, 18, and 4 with 11 knockouts. And Gordon Reset, the Canadian heavyweight out of, I don't know how you're even sure how to pronounce that, uh, Nanamo, Nanamo, Canada. 39 and 6 with 28 knockouts. Uh, he'll actually um, have the edge as far as control goes. He's a 5 to Bethea's 4 defense. As we go to the tail of the tape, uh, they're equal. Power, slight edge to reset. Durability is even. Chin, slightly, slight, uh, no. Pretty good edge to Bethea. He's got a nine chin. Cut, they're equal. Will, edge goes to reset. TKO, edge to reset. Finisher, it. reset. Plus three, he's got a big edge there. If he gets stuns and hurts Bethea, he's going to attack. Endurance, edge to reset. And as far as modes go, uh, Bethea does not do elusive, but he does 1 to 10 on the outside, 11 to 18 on the inside, and 19 and 20 pressure mode. Reset can do 1 to 3 elusive, 4 to 7 on the outside, 8 to 14 on the inside, and 15 to 20 pressure. So here we go. Head to the ring. Round one. Rathea dodges the cross from Reset. Misses with the hook. And a nice combination from Bethea. On the counter. Uppercut lands for Reset. Both fighters land there. Big hook from Bethea. As they trade punches, Bethea lands a nice jab. Bethea with a big hook that lands. Reset. Nice combination as the bell sounds. That made the uh, round a little closer there at the end. But Bethea did a good job of handling the aggressiveness of Reset there in that first round. Round two. Reset still in pressure mode. Nice uppercut. Bethea follows with a combination. Big uppercut. Bethea doesn't see you phased by it though. comes back and lands a hook of his own. Another uppercut. This one makes Bethea's knees go weak. But 
Reset misses with the hook. And nice uppercut of Bethea lands. It's another uppercut from Bethea. That punch didn't seem to uh, have any uh, long standing effect. There's a nice cross from Reset. Another block hook from Bethea, and he follows it with an uppercut of his own. Oh my goodness! That'll end the round as Reset stumbled into his corner. The uppercut from Bethea just rocked Reset there. What a round that was as both fighters landed some good punches. We head to round three. There's a nice hook from Reset. They had ducks that one. And Bethea misses with a hook of his own. There's nice hook lands for Bethea. Reset follows with a hook. And reset with a nice combination. Bethea lands across. Then misses with the straight right hand. Not much action to be had in that round. The best punch coming from uh, Wayne Bethea, probably with that hook, midway through the round. We head to round four. Bethea staying on the outside and inside goes reset. There's a nice combination. Followed by the nice uppercut from Bethea. That might have opened up a cut under the right eye of reset. There's a nice hook to the body by Reset. Bethea misses. There's a hook by Reset. Bethea misses with a hook. And Reset follows with a jab. There's a nice uppercut from Reset. Bethea comes back with a hook. Bethea with another hook. And Reset lands a hook. That'll end the round. Gordon Reset. That uppercut at about the minute mark was probably the punch of the round as Reset looks to have taken that one. We head to round five. There's a hook to the body by Reset. Then they circle one another looking for their open shot and Bethea takes it with a nice uppercut and blood starts to come from the nose of Gordon Reset. probably pronouncing his name wrong it's probably Resetti maybe Resetti not Reset there's a nice combination from Bethea Reset answers with a cross. The hook misses.
from Bethea. Reset. Lands a nice body shot. There's a nice hook from Bethea. There's an even exchange as both fighters land as the bell sounds. Pretty even round there. As we look at the TKO points, Reset has three now to Bethea's two. Endurance-wise, it looks like Reset is starting to tire. We head to round six. Let's see what the ringside judge has to say. They've got it even. Two rounds to two and one even. Round six. There's a nice uppercut from Reset. That's shook Bethea. Let's see what he can do. Nice combination. Another straight right hand from Reset. Another combination. Bethea finally lands a nice combination of his own. Follows that with a nice hook to the head of Gordon Reset. There's a nice cross from Bethea. A big combination from Gordon Reset. And he lands a straight right hand. And that'll end the round. A good round for Gordon Reset as he land that uppercut to start the round. And never let up. Bethea tried to fight back. But a uh, big round for Gordon Reset. He needed that one. We head to round seven. We're set with a nice cross. Bethea with a hook. There's a nice combination from both fighters. Both fighters land again. Trading shots here in round seven. Nice uppercut to the ribs by Gordon Reset. And the both fighters clinch there. Bethea needs a breather. Bethea comes out of that and lands a nice uppercut on the inside. Missed. The uppercut misses for Reset. And that'll end the round as both fighters turn and head back to their corners. As both fighters pick up a TKO point that round. And it was pretty even. We had to round eight. Nice hook from Reset. Combination blocked and a nice jab counter from Bethea. There's a body head combo. Lands for Reset. There's an even exchange. Bethea lands a hook. Nice hook to the body by Gordon Reset. And there's an even exchange. These fighters are both landing. Pretty even round, but it's an 
TKO point for Bafea. We head to round eight or round nine. Now both fighters, as Reset enters uh, level three fatigue, his chin drops to a six, his power is down to a two now. Bethea, level one, his power is down to a one. There's a nice hook from Bethea. Reset follows with a co combination. And lands a nice hook to the ribs of Wayne Bethea. Reset misses with the cross. There's a nice exchange from both fighters. Double hook lands for Reset. There's a nice jab. Bethea lands the uppercut. And then Reset finishes the round with a nice sharp hook. Again, Reset looks like he took that round. Gives another TKO point to Bethea. Now he's reached his six. Round 10. The hook lands. As blood starts to come from the mouth of Wayne Bethea. Reset circling. Bethea not really moving much. It's waiting on Reset. And Reset misses with the hook. Nice combination from Reset. Bethea follows that up with a nice hook to the head. Bethea with a nice cross. There's a hook by Bethea lands. And Reset ties him up to end the round. So it looked like Reset had uh, Bethea on the ropes there, but as he got the uh, bleed, uh, mouth started coming, or blood started coming from his mouth, but he really couldn't do much. And it was actually Bethea who scored with a big hook, a couple big hooks in the round. We head to round 11. Is it possible that Wayne Bethea could steal this fight? Reset looked like he had the fight in control. They're midway through the uh, fight. There's a clinch. Nice cross from Reset. Big uppercut from Gordon Reset. And Bethea holds on. Referee breaks him. And Bethea lands a nice combination. Bethea with a nice hook. Bethea is coming. And it's another sharp jab. And then Gordon Reset lands a big uppercut. Both fighters trade shots as the bell sounds. And this fight uh, 
It's getting to the point where it's getting close to possible draw here. If we see a decision, it might be a split or majority decision. Well, we're going to head to the 12th and final round. Let's see what the ringside judge says. They've got Bethea up 106 to 105. I don't know how accurate that will be. Looks like Reset was going back to the inside, outside for Bethea. Here we go. There's a nice uppercut from Bethea. And blood starts to come back out of the nose of Gordon Reset. Reset hangs on. Referee breaks him apart. Bethea misses with the hook. And Brissette lands a hook of his own. And the swelling around the left eye of Wayne Bethea is starting to become quite prominent. There's a straight right from Bethea. Brissette answers with a short cross. Brissette. Lands a big hook. Swelling over the right eye of Bethea. Here's a nice uppercut to the ribs. 59 seconds left. The set misses with the combination. And a big uppercut from Wayne Bethea. He is just not going to go away. And Bethea misses with the cross as the bell sounds. And I don't know what to say about this one. But Brissett started out, um, I thought he had a, a lead there midway through the fight. But he kind of uh, tapered off at the end, and Bethea kept kept coming at him. Let's see what the referee or the uh, judges have to say. I have it. I would, if I was going to give it, I'd give a decision to reset. Maybe like a, maybe not a unanimous, but uh, I'm going to guess a majority decision. Uh, I would have picked reset. Uh, he just, to me, landed. Uh, had a couple bigger rounds, and he, they were pretty even throughout the fight, but uh, I thought Reset had a couple uh, big rounds over Bethea. Let's see what they say. 116, 114, Bethea. That's going to be Bethea. Um, it is going to be a split decision. Wade Bethea sneaks in and steals one from the Canadian Heavyweight Gordon Reset. Bethea is ecstatic with the decision. He wins it. Again, 116, 114, 117, 114 for Bethea, and then 116, 114 for Reset. And the split decision goes to Bethea. He will advance. Again. Reset had the edge punch point wise. I guess he didn't really have. I was thinking this round right here. 8 4 and 11 4 rounds. But, uh, but they had a couple good rounds there as well. Uh, TKO points though. Bethea had eight to Reset's four. I'm a little uh, little uh, not put off, but uh, I was I would think Reset had a had this fight won, but uh, it's not to be for him, and Bethea will advance to the next round. Next up, John Dennis 
taking on James J. Woody. Woody. Dennis. Uh, 45, 5, and 2 with 20 knockouts. James J. Woody, 16, 14, and 1 with 3 knockouts. Uh, he is going to be a 3 against a tactical fighter. And he will be a 4. So slight edge and control to Dennis. Defense equal power. Slight edge to John Dennis. Durability, slight edge. Chin, edge goes to Dennis. Cut, edge goes to Woody. Will, equal, TKO, slight edge to Dennis. Finisher, both are not very good at that. And then endurance, slight edge to Dennis as well. Uh, Dennis has a power and chin is minus three versus higher con. He is not, so his chin and will will stay the same. Uh, modes, one to seven elusive for Dennis. Eight, 16 on the outside. 17, uh, 18 for inside and 19 to 20 pressure. Uh, one to three for Woody for elusive. Four to eight for the outside. 9 to 16 on the inside and 17 to 20 pressure. So here we go. Head to the ring for the John Dennis against James J. Woody. Nice quick jab. Nice hook from Dennis. Uppercut lands for James J. Woody. Nice hook by Woody. Wild combo lands. It's both these fighters looking to try to end this early. Both fighters missed there. There's a nice chab. Even exchange. There's a straight right hand lands as the bell sounds, but that was uh, James J. Woody getting the uh, getting the most out of that round. Woody landed uh, some really good jabs in that round. And a big hook as well. We head to round two. Woody goes to elusive. Dennis to the outside. And Jetty steps in, lands the cross. There's a straight right hand from Woody. Dennis with a quick hook connects. Lands a nice jab. Some swelling quickly starts to develop on the right eye of James J. Woody. There's a big hook. That lands. James J. Woody shaken by that punch. He lands another big hook. Misses with another hook. And Woody lands a jab. Both fighters looking for their shot. Dennis with a nice jab. Or uh, Woody with a nice jab. And there's a cut. Above Dennis's right eye. So Dennis did the early 
damage there with a couple big hooks that really rocked James J. Woody. But Woody opens up that cut here at the end of round two. We head to round three. Dennis's defense goes to a one because of that cut. Misses with a jab. There's a cross that misses for Woody. Dennis. Combination. Cannot get through. And there's a jab that misses. Fight. Both fighters having trouble here in round three. They're going to stop the action here for a minute and uh, warn Woody for hitting in the back of the head. Dancing center ring. Dennis lands a nice combination. Woody answers with a big hook. And a double quick double jab as the bell sounds. So both fighters struggle to really connect in that round with any kind of accuracy. And we head to round four. Nice jab from Woody. There's a hook from Woody. There's a big hook. Tennis. Rocked by that one. Lands another big hook. A jab. Woody looking for that big shot to end this fight. Lands another hook. Straight right hand from Woody. He's going to miss with a jab there. And a hook by Dennis connects. Woody with another jab as the bell sounds. Big round for James Woody. Landed a hook that uh, really slowed John Dennis down and kept coming at him. We had to round four. Or round five, I'm sorry. Nice jab from Woody. There's a both fighters trading shots. And they're gonna miss there. There's a nice hook from Woody. Dennis with a hook. There's a jab. And swelling appears with the right eye of James J. Woody. Combination. Nice jab from Woody. Right now, he's just been too quick to the punch for John Dennis. And around six, Dennis goes to elusive. Lands for Moody. Dennis circles him, looking for his opportunity here. 
Nice cross from Dennis. Nice exchange for both fighters. There's a nice cross. Dennis with a nice jab. Darting in and out. Locks the jab there from Dennis. Dennis lands a big hook. But Woody shakes his head no as to tell Dennis he didn't hurt him. As they turn back to their corners. All right, round seven. Woody with a nice uppercut into the rib section of Dennis. Dennis lands a quick hook to the side of James Woody's head. And now Woody backs out, faints left. We're going to have a referee stopping the action. And low blow by John Dennis. It's going to let Woody gain his composure. There's an even exchange by both fighters. Woody misses with the cross. There's a straight right hand by Dennis. Dennis with a quick jab. And there the bell sounds as both fighters turn and head back to their corners. Not much action going on except for the low blow by Dennis. And the straight right hand he landed was probably the best punch of the round. We head to the eighth. Let's take a look at what the ringside judge has to has so far. It's got Dennis by a point. Three rounds for each fighter. Or four rounds for Dennis. Three for uh, Woody. Dennis is going to go to elusive mode. And Woody trying to get inside. In round eight. Nice hook by Woody. Another big hook. This time he goes downstairs to the kidney area. Nice uppercut on the inside as he gets inside. There's a neat exchange from both fighters. Woody. Gets tagged with a straight right hand by Dennis as Dennis gets back out side, trying to find his quick opening, get in there and get out. There's an uppercut by James J. Woody. Double hook, sharp hooks from Woody connect. Dennis lands a lunging hook. And there's an even exchange as the bell sounds. Dennis went into elusive mode but didn't really help him too much as Woody found openings and tagged him for a really pretty good round. Good for two TKO points. Dennis at five TKO points to only two for Woody. We head to round nine. Woody does uh, both fighters in level uh, two um, fatigue. Dennis is powered down to a three. There's a nice hook from Dennis is he's on the outside this time. There's another quick hook. Both fighters connect. 
And there's a, another quick hook from John Dennis. Jab misses, and Woody lands a nice cross on the counter. Woody with a hook connects. There's an uppercut. Lands inside the left rib cage of John Dennis. There's a nice hook by Dennis. And the jab misses as the bell sounds. So both fighters get a TKO point that round Dennis goes to six, which is his uh, his rating. So things are looking uh, if Woody gets a gets a little spurt here, he can st get this fight stopped. We go to round 10, scheduled for 12. There's a clinch. Even exchange. Here's Woody with a nice cross. Woody lands a nice quick jab. Another Jab and out goes Dennis. Dennis misses with a jab that time. And Woody ties him up. There's a nice combination from Woody. Another combination from Woody is the bell sounds. We're headed to round 11. Dennis struggling against the uh, James J. Woody. Thought Dennis would have a uh, easier time with him, but Woody's been giving him all kinds of trouble. And now they got Woody up 96 98. Woody has won the last three rounds on the uh, ringside judge's card. Here we go, round 11, both fighters on the inside. There's a nice uppercut. Woody has been using that body really well. He's going to the body on Dennis. And there, a minor cut under the left eye of Dennis. Woody with a sharp jab. Clean, clean jab. There's a nice combination from Dennis. Woody with an uppercut. Dennis cannot seem to defend any of these punches. There's an uppercut by Dennis Lands. Another uppercut. There's a hook. And Dennis comes back to even the round. We head to the 12th and final round. Put Dennis in pressure mode. Woody. We'll go to the outside. There's a double hook. There's a nice jab from Woody. Another uppercut lands for J John Dino Dennis. 
There's an even exchange. Both fighters tagging each other. Nice hook from Woody. Dennis just having trouble separating himself from James J. Woody. Oh, there's a big uppercut. Ah, oh, Woody shrugs it off. Trying to make it through this round. Another even exchange. There's a hook and it lands. John Dino Dennis did all he could. He thought he had Woody hurt, but the pop is off his punch as he's a little gassed here at the end of this fight and just couldn't put any mustard under bat behind it. We're going to the judges. Woody looking for an upset here. It's a unanimous decision. 116, 113, 116, 114, 115, 114 for the winner. James J. Woody with the upset win over John Dino Dennis. Neither fighter really was uh, re looking to go far in this tournament, but Woody, it looked to be a early round uh, exit for him, but he fought a very good fight and gets the unanimous decision. He did have the point uh, punch point edge. So there you have it. An impressive win for James J. Woody. Up next, we got Dwayne Bobick, 48-4 and 0 with 42 knockouts out of Little Falls, Minnesota. He will take on fireman Jim Flynn, one of uh, Al Red Sox favorite fighters. I see him use him quite often. 65 wins, 45 losses, 21 draws, 51 of the 65 wins by knockout out of Hoboken, New Jersey. Tail of the tape. Bobic has the edge as far as control. Uh, defense is equal. Power. Both fighters eat at seven. Durability, slight edge for Flynn. Chin, edge goes to Bobic there. Cut, edge goes to Bobic. Flynn uh, gets cut up pretty easily. Will, slight edge to Bobic. TKO, both at fives. Good, both are decent finishers. And endurance, that's Jim Flynn's got the edge there. Now, both have traits as far as Bobic. He is plus two the first two rounds. He's a slow starter, so his con will be added two to it. So I'm guessing, let's see, they're both uh, physical. 6'4", so it'll probably be like 10'8", I'm guessing. So it'll probably be 10'10", the first two rounds, as far as can CTNs go. Flynn has the extra dirty trait, which is plus two on all foul checks. All right, here we go. This one could be over quick. Both these guys have a little pop in their punch. Here we go. Round one. There's a nice hook to the body by Bobic. Comes right out attacking the body. Flynn with a hook that misses. Bobic bobbing and weaving, looking for that open punch, open shot. Bobic with a cross. Big cross. Flynn's knees turned to jelly. He's in trouble here. Let's see if he can finish him. Relentless pursuit lands a furious combination. Flynn 
Bob and Weaving trying to get away from that right hand. Bobic. Flynn lands a short hook. Then even flurries. Both fighters land shots on the inside. We got a foul check. That's plus two, 17. That's a malicious foul. Oh, they didn't give him the plus two. 15. He should have got plus two, right? Well, either way, it's still a flagrant foul. They're going to call him for a hitting on the break. And there's an even exchange as the bell sounds. Big round for Dwayne Bobbick as he had Flynn hurt. It looked like a quick, quick fight. First round knockout, but Flynn showed his moxie as he fought through and got through the round with no further damage. They had to round two. There's a clinch as fireman Jim Flynn wraps around Bobbick. There's a shot landed by both fighters. Big hook from Flynn. But Bobbick keeps moving forward. Flynn with a nice combination. And we got a foul is a low blow by Bobbick. Flynn's going to give him a little extra time to get things uh, get things right for himself. And we continue. There's a hook. Lands by Flynn. There's another hook. And Bobbick's left eye starting to swell. Bobbick with an uppercut lands. And there's a big hook by Flynn. Nice round for Flynn as he answers that first round from Bobbick with a couple of big punches, a combination, and a couple big hooks. We head to round three. There's an even exchange. Cross lands for Jim Flynn. Bobbick with a hook to the body. He lands the hook and Bobbick with two quick jabs counters. There's a nice cross from Bobbick. There's a short cross. Jab blocked by Flynn. Flynn sizing him up. Bobbick with an uppercut on the inside. Connects as the bell sounds. So Dwayne Bobbick. Another good round for him. As we head to round four. There's a nice uppercut to the body of Flynn. Flynn with a short hook. Both fighters trade shots there. Still trading shots. And Bobbick finally 
hangs on. Referee separates him. And there's another even flurry. Both fighters throwing wildly, looking for that knockout. Nice combination from Bobic. And there's a big uppercut by Flynn. Bobic with another combination. Takes a shot to the side of Flynn and upstairs as he lands one on the jaw of Flynn as the bell sounds. Action packed round there in round four. But the problem now is Bobic has in the level one fatigue. His power is down to a four. And Jim Flynn, this is his chance to really do some damage here. As Bobic spent everything he's had that last round. There's a nice cross. And blood starts to come from Fireman Jim Flynn's nose. Flynn with a nice combination. Double hook from Dwayne Bobbick. There's a nice combination from Jim Flynn. And Bobbick answers with his combination of his own. There's an uppercut on the inside. Flynn with a nice hook. And there's another hook. Flynn connects. That hurt Bobbick, but the bell sounds. And Flynn cannot try to capitalize on that shot. He lands the hook, and Bobbick looked like he was going down. As he heads to his corner. Big, big punch from fireman Jim Flynn. We head to round six. Level two fatigue for Bobby because he's chin and will go down one. Two, chin's down to a four now. And level one fatigue for Flynn as this deep power goes down to a four. Round six. This is a back and forth fight. Both fighters land some pretty heavy shots. There's a shot from each fighter landing. Big hook. Flynn is down. Out of nowhere, Bobbick lands a big left hook. And Flynn's up at six. Referee looks at him, says continue, and Bobbick's getting two finisher rolls. Even trading, even uh, evenly, but no big punches landed. Eh. He was stalking, but just can't get a shot in. There's a short hook. Cross lands. As the right eye of Jim Flynn starts to swell. There's a nice combination from Dwayne Bobbick. And Flynn lands a double hook as the bell sounds. But this one was all Dwayne Bobbick as he puts Flynn on the canvas here in round six. Could not finish him, though. Could not finish him. He had the opportunity. But Flynn did a good job of covering up. We head to round seven. There's a nice exchange from both fighters. Again, both fighters trade blows. 
Double hook by Jim Flynn. <laughs> These guys are just one after the other. No defense in this fight whatsoever. As they're just landing punch after punch, except right there, they both miss. There's another even exchange. There's a hook by Flynn. Another miss from both fighters. Bobic lands a mild hook. Not much power around behind it as the bell sounds. Jim Flynn had the double hook there uh, early in the round and probably the best punch sequence of punches there for him in that round as he probably got the edge. We head to round eight. Round eight. Jab by Bobic. There's a cross. Left eye and starts to see a little trickle of blood coming down his cheek of Jim Flynn. There's a nice cross from Flynn. Bobic with a hook. There's a cross landed for Flynn. As Bobic ties him up on the inside. Referee separates him. Bobic comes back with a huge hook. But Flynn walked right through it. As the power starts to go from the punch of Bobic, even exchange there. Flynn with a hook. Big shot by. The thing is, the bell sounds, and Flynn cannot again take advantage of that big hook that landed and hurt Bobic. We head to round nine. The fatigue now starting to get to both fighters. It's going to be a last man standing here. I doubt this can... I'll be shocked if it makes it 12. Let's check the ringside judge. Oh, they got Bobic up big. I think it's closer than that. Here we go. Round 9. Nice uppercut from Flynn. Hook to the body by Jim Flynn. Bobic answers with a nice double jab. There's a hook by Flynn. The hook is starting to find a hole here. Lands across. Bobic ties him up. Bobic with the cross. Connects. It's a circle center ring. And there's an even exchange as the bell sounds. Jim Flynn with another strong round. So we head to round 10. These guys are running on fumes, but they're still throwing punches. Bobic's going to go to pressure mode. And Flynn on the inside. Bobic lands a sharp hook. We got a clash of headbutts. Clash of heads. And Bobic. Blood starts to come from his nose. And blood comes from the mouth of Jim Flynn.
There's a nice uppercut from Bobbitt. Flynn with a nice hook. There's another hook from Jim Flynn. Bobbitt with a huge hook. Oh, he's got no power behind that punch. Flynn keeps coming forward. Nice combination from Dwayne Bobbitt. And there's another quick combination from Bobbick as the bell sounds. Bobbick with a very good round there. If you're going by the ringside judge, he's got a comfortable lead as we head to the championship rounds. Round 11, Flynn hoping for a miracle here. Oh, nice cross from Dwayne Bobbick. Flynn will tie him up. As you see that uh, Flynn's going to TNT watch. If he gets up to six uh, ahead of Flynn, this referee might stop this fight. But Flynn misses with a jab. There's an even exchange for both fighters. Flynn can't catch a break with those rolls. Flynn with a big hook. Oh! Bobbick reeling. Oh, rolls a one and blocks the jab from Flynn. Flynn, nice combination to the head. The bell sounds. Another strong round from Flynn. It started out. It looked like Bobbick might be able to stop him. But Flynn, again, comes charging back. We go to the 12th and final round. This looks like it might make it the distance. Not sure how, but it's going to, possibly. Round 12, here we go. As a circle center ring, looking, fainting, bobbing, and weaving. Flynn with a nice cross. Combination from Bobbick. Straight right hand. There's a nice cross from Bobbick. As the swelling above his right eye seems to worsen. Bobbick with another straight right shot. Bobbick trying to put this fight behind him. Missed exchange. And we're going to the judges. Another good round for Bobbick. It's I'm guessing a unanimous decision. At first I thought it was going to be close, but uh, Bobbick seemed to have a, the last few rounds seemed to distance himself. Both fighters went down in this fight, I, didn't they? No, just I'm sorry, just uh, Flynn went down. I thought uh, he knocked uh, Bobbick down, but nope, it was just Flynn that went down, so... This is guessing this is going to be a unanimous decision in favor of Bobbick. Let's see what the judges have to say. Judge 1, 116, 112, 115, 113, and 115, 113 for the winner by unanimous decision. Dwayne Bobbick. So Bobbick will move on to the next round with a very courageous battle with fireman Jim Flynn. Get out to uh, point and punch points wise, 8669. Landed some pretty darn good power shots in this one. 
but so did Flynn. Flynn did not fight badly. So that's it from there. And let's take a look at this fight and see if we're going to try to get another one. I tried to find a picture of <coughs> excuse me, Cyclone Lynch, but I could not find one. He definitely has the edge This is a. Neither one of these guys is very good. 5 and 16 with 5 knockouts for Cyclone Lynch. 15 and 20 and 1 with 11 knockouts for Kid Crockett. Uh, endurance wise, Crockett is horrible. Uh, they're both physical, and he's a 1 against a 3. Defense, Crock Crockett's a little better there. Power. Slight edge to Cyclone Lynch. Durability. Lynch with a edge there. Chin. Both are not good. Cut equal. Will. Lynch has the edge. TKO. Lynch again. Finisher. Lynch has a edge in that fashion. And Endurance, a huge edge for Lynch. And Lynch, though, only fights inside in pressure. 1 to 9 inside, 10 to 20 pressure. Crockett will fight 1 to 3 on Elusive, 4 to 14 from the outside, uh, 15 to 18 on the inside, and 19 and 20 in pressure mode. Let's see if we can get this one in. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, uh, how awkward uh, this is for me. As far as which one's more awkward, the using the sound effects, which I kind of miss, and talking between rounds, or trying to call a fight, which I'm not very good at. Um, I might have to bring the uh, sound effects back out. But all right. Here we go, round one. Crockett and Lynch already holding on, not trying to let each other get a punch, uh, arm loose here. Cross, missed by Lynch. There's a nice hook from Lynch. Crockett lands a hook. Oh! Rabbit punch from Cyclone Lynch. The referee warns him. As Crockett ties him up again. Crockett with a nice cross. Another cross from Crockett. So Crockett comes out and has a pretty decent opening round. Cyclone Lynch was in pressure mode and didn't put much pressure on Crockett at all. We head to round two. There's a nice hook from Lynch. Misses with the combination and a nice uppercut to the body by Kid Crockett. There's a hook. Lands for Lynch. Missed exchange. Both fighters miss there. Here's Lynch. No, Crockett lands. Nice jab. From Frankie Lynch. Crockett answers with a big cross. Lands a hook. Lynch on the inside. Crockett follows that with a hook of his own as the bell sounds. 
Kid Crockett looking sharp in the opening rounds of this fight. We head to round three. Outside for Kid Crockett, inside for Lynch. Nice hook from Frankie Lynch. Both fighters looking to get position here. Here's Lynch with a short hook. That lands. Crockett told to keep his hands up. There's a nice uppercut from Frankie Lynch. There's an even exchange from both fighters. Big hook from Frankie Lynch. And blood starts to trickle from the nose of Kid Crockett. Misses with the straight right hand. And then Lynch ties him up as the bell sounds. So Lynch gets back into this fight with a strong round in round three. We head to round four. There's a hook from Frankie Lynch. Another big hook. Jabs misses from Crockett. Straight right hand from Crockett. Crockett with another straight right. Frankie Lynch lands the hook. There's an uppercut from Lynch. Another hook connects for Frankie Lynch. There's another big hook to the body. Big round for Frankie Lynch. Head to round five. There's a short cross. Lynch. A nice jab. Crockett keeps coming forward. Lynch, though, holding him at bay. There's a hook from Kid Crockett. Another big hook. Both fighters miss. There's a hook to the body by Frankie Lynch. Another big hook from Lynch. And right eye of Kid Crockett starts to swell. The hook lands by Kid Crockett as the bell sounds. So a pretty even round. Both these fighters seem tentative at uh, at times. Round six. There's a hook. Lands. For Kid Crockett. And then Crockett told to keep his gloves up. Let's get a little low there. Lynch with a hook to the body. Crockett lands across. There's a big hook by Crockett. Lands the cross. Crockett with another cross. Frankie Lynch lands another cross. There's an uppercut on the inside. 
So it looked like Crockett was running away with that round. And Lynch landed a couple big punches there at the end. Get it close. Pressure mode for Frankie Lynch as Kit Crockett already looking gassed out there. Round seven. There's a hook from Lynch. Nice jab from Kid Crockett. Uh-oh. A major cut above the right eye, or left eye of Cyclone Lynch. That, he's already at one defense, so it didn't really hurt him too much. There's a nice jab from Crockett. Aggressive combination by Lynch. Lynch with another huge hook. And down goes Crockett. Crockett got a little too close. And Cyclone Lynch makes him pay. He's up at eight. Lynch will have two finisher rolls. Can he finish this fight? Oh, I hit that too fast. Oh, he could not finish it. Misses with the cross. An even flurry. And Frankie Lynch could not finish him off. He had him hurt. Well, they're going to look at him, though. And in the corner. 1 to 14. <laughs> He's going to get. They're going to allow him to continue. Lynch with his by far his best round of the fight as he put Crockett down and almost had him out. Let's check see what the ringside judges got. Look at that. Even with the knockdown and everything, he's only got a got the Lynch 67-66. <coughs> Crockett going to elusive and Lynch trying to finish this fight. Comes storming out of the corner. Coming right at Crockett. Lands a nice hook. A cross lands for Crockett. Both fighters looking for an opening here. Another jab from Crockett. So he's staying on the outside. There's a nice hook. Lands. Look at this. Crockett danced his way around the ring and gets through the round. Lynch could not get to him. Good job by Kid Crockett to keep away from Cyclone Lynch. Crowd not very happy with that round. It was pretty, uh, pretty much just a ballroom dancing there. Here we go, round nine. Crockett on me going to the inside. Feeling a little gutsy here. There's a quick exchange on the inside for both fighters. Straight right hand from Frankie Lynch. Uppercut lands for Crockett. Lands uppercut Lynch. Both fighters miss. There's a nice hook from Lynch. Lynch with another hook. Nice 
nice combination from Frankie Lynch. Lands another hook. Blood coming from the mouth of Crockett. That'll end the round. Big round for Frankie Lynch. Crockett somehow still on his feet. Round 10. Nice uppercut for Frankie Lynch. Cross misses for Crockett. There's a nice combination from Frankie Lynch. Lynch with another hook. Oh, that's it. The referee steps in and stops this fight. Crockett has taken too much punishment, he says. And that's it. Cyclone Lynch wins it by TKO here in round 10. Not the most marquee of fights here, but uh, Frankie Lynch gets the win. He almost doubled up the punch points. See, that's where you can't trust that uh, ringside judge. Pretty, uh, it would have been a unanimous decision for Frankie Lynch either way. Even if uh, Crockett would have won the last couple rounds. Gets the knockdown in the seventh and thought the fight was going to be over there, but... Uh, Crockett kept fighting, and uh, if anything, he showed courage. So that's it. We're going to call it a, let's see what we got coming up. Jess Willard against Jack Modell. Lorenzo Zanon versus Tony Hansack, Hunsacker. And Ozzy Ocasio against Junior Grant. Alfredo M... <clears throat> I always screw this name up. Alfredo Evel <laughs> Evangelista? Evangelista? I can't remember. I think he was a little before. I think he was a 70s. But uh, I don't remember him. I, I mean, the name's familiar, but I just can't remember how it's pronounced. Evel Evangelista. That's what I'm going to say. Against Mark Gastineau. I think that sounds like that's going to be a easy fight for Evangelista. Eh. Castle give him a little bit of a... He's got decent power. Decent chin. So, like I said, I'm going to bring back the uh, sound effects and uh, just talk between the rounds. It's... Uh, I'm just not very good at uh, uh, calling <laughs> any any kind of sport, really. That's not my forte. Um, I'm not like uh, Al Red Sox or any. A lot of the other guys are pretty good too, but uh, um, I'll stick with just uh, doing the uh, uh, color, uh, talking in between rounds. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next round of fights.